Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Kentucky Wildcats. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Wildcats are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Second of all, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. And finally, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams looking to get things going here. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Abrams handles the pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. He drains the shot. Five second goal approaching. He lets it go. It sticks. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a slam. Hey, look out the road, baby. Oh, my. Evan handles the feed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's get another look, Brad. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Evan receives the ball. He has the presence of mind to set the screen in time to get off the nice inside bucket. Shepard is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Leftwich makes a great move to draw the foul. Leftwich goes to the line for the first time. He hits the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon NBN. Controlling the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Now trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. High post screen. So effective that screen. Work the perimeter. Down inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The point guard receives the pass. Trying to feed the low block. Looking for the foul. Drains the shot. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. The ball goes out of play. Dribble gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Sets the screen for his teammate. Perfectly executed. A double team. We strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting rod. He shoots from right of the circle. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Defense! 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 He attempts the three. He buries the shot. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. With a deep shot from outside. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. Got a guy right on him. He throws it up from downtown. Way off target. Go into the low block. Fakes a jumper. Pushing that basketball. He puts up the tray. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Leftwood wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. I guess he feels that this defensive possession is a big one. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And the ball goes out of play. The Golden Grizzlies have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He shoots from outside. Gets it to fall. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dump it inside. Defense. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to start. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Up and inside. From three-point range. 
Kentucky are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Terrible execution on offense. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you want a great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. it up got the high pick the golden grizzlies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple there's the trap for the bucket in and out looking for contact Terrell was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Now, work it around the arc. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Terrell draws the personal. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Second one is good. Now they'll bring it up. Steel go up the other way, get a layup. I don't know if he saw it, Brad, but the mascot fired up after the last dunk. I think he wants to play, man. He's all fired up. Put him in, coach. Put him in. Get him some T.O., baby. Get him some time. Give him a chance, baby. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Terrell. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big crowd. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids 
are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. Too late, count the bucket. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Looking for a good shot. Fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He hacked him. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. Evans steps to the line for the first time. It's the first. Both free throws go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. A high screen. He drains it. On the outside, gave it up. Dick, I think he rejects it. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Now they work it around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. That was nice. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. From left of the circle, the Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Set up looking for contact. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Dump it inside. Lobs it inside. Trying to draw the foul. Up and in. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He intercepts it, pushes it up, picks off the pass. Goes up for two, doesn't go. There's the fake. Pump fakes. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective.
Moving it around the perimeter. Kicked off. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. Or two. Up. Easy one. They scored seven in a row. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Golden Grizzlies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any opening. Pressure on the basketball. There's the pick. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. There was no doubt about that one. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Jumped in front to take it away with a deep pass. The Wildcats will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. He wants the three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Double team now, bad angle. Strips the ball. From right in the circle. Great shot. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. Got some room. He lets it go. Oakland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. off the lazy pass. He up fakes. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Locks it. And the ball goes out of bounds. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Here's a flash from the post up high. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes in. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. The Golden Grizzlies have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Working around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Takes 
the pass in the paint. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He shoots from the elbow. The Golden Grizzlies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They still don't score. We'll take the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. Two for one opportunity. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Jump hook from the low block. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Takes away the pass. Shot clock is dead. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. perimeter for two in and out for the bucket perfectly executed at the end of the first half the Golden Grizzlies are down by eight now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half Kentucky has made a statement by crashing the boards in the first half, Dick. Very, very strong statement. They're letting the opposition know that they're not going to give them any second chance opportunities. And that speaks volumes, baby. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. it up he gives him the fake gave it up Dickie's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you Dick how's that backcourt comparison shaping up do you think hey Brad that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves how can they as coaches get the most out of their guards are they quick enough to pressure the opponent or offensively can they create off the dribble to me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He makes it. Third shot is good. Shooting guard with the ball. High post flasher is open. He dials long distance, knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Up fake. Here's a spin down in the low block. Okay, he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move for the goal. The 
small forward takes the pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to get the D to bite. The center gets the ball. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Too much. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. From the baseline, Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Buries it. The Wildcats are ahead by 13. With a little baby hook, he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He shoots from outside. He nails the shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you can help, you can take that pass away. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's game. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Step out on that screener. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. On the inside. Tries for two. Jumps in. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. He gets that one to fall. Dumps it in. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Working it around the perimeter. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He gets it to go. The Wildcats lead by 14. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. He's 
Drips him clean. The center takes the feed. He makes a nice shot fake. Great defense. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. The point guard gets the pass. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Makes the shot. That's an eight zip run. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. Kentucky are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Here's a double team. He shoots from the top of the key. The Golden Grizzlies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. Looking for a good shot. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. For the deuce. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. The Golden Grizzlies have got to continue to get him the ball. Brady's on fire. Got a nice screen. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Glad to win it out. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Wide open for the shot. Rims out.
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Picks off the lazy pass. One, two. Here's the replay. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Looking for a good shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Finger roll. The Wildcats are up by 24. Now they work it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking. For, he blocks the shot. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Intercepted. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Steals the pass. Going to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Up and inside. For the bucket. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy goose. pick up the defense here now. Double team doesn't work. Hey, weak side's got to be ready to attack the ball. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He tries the three. Sinks it. I need to see that again, Brad. Too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They're working around the arc. That one's rejected. 
shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Up and inside. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. High post player flashing. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Establish some good tempo. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. Now the high screen for the bucket. He hits the shot. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The Golden Grizzlies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they go into transition. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's got an open look for the shot. Hits the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Takes away the pass. Tries for two. They let him get into a rhythm. the perimeter shoots from outside great execution that's offensive efficiency at its best defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle tries the three they're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. That wide 
stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. For the deuce. And he scores it off the glass. Picked out of the air. With a quarterback pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. For two, he rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. They work it around the perimeter. And they get the turnover. up a prayer. He can't get the hoop to fall. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, what this game grab when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Kentucky played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.